Hello all. Um, sorry for the delay. I had technical difficulties with Facebook today. It would not start the video. So um, just wanted to circle back around. Um, I'll go over more of it uh, next week. But I wanted to tell you, I just got back from NAPO 2023 Summit and um, we had one of our keynote speakers was um, of the um, Productivity Podcast. And he did a lot of speaking about ritual and the synchronicity of it, which was the topic I was going to talk more about today, is how to stack your rituals. And then it doesn't matter what time of day you do them. So what I wanted to say is have a personal startup ritual and have a business startup ritual. And it can evolve and change and scale and expand and contract. But what it helps you do is make sure the little things don't fall through the cracks. And it helps you understand that um, by taking some of the heavy lifting off, by getting very good at the repetition of the ritual, you have less to worry about. You're more likely to do it properly. Um, I'm not going to say that going to get some body work done today because my shoulder was very stiff after um, the conference and lugging my bag around um, had anything to do with the fact that I had technical difficulties with my Facebook Live today, but it might have because it was a different flow of what I was doing. So when you do the same thing in the same way, in the same order every day, you're more likely to have that muscle memory and that subconscious portion of it and really be able to um, rely on that and use your energy differently for the more creative things. Um, so quickly, I, I did uh, review what I do for my morning rituals as well. I feed the cat. I make the coffee. I watch about 10 minutes of news. Um, actually, I don't watch it. I go online and get headlines and then I delve deeper into anything that's actually relevant to me. Um, I do some affirmations and um, business visioning and manifestation techniques. And then I meditate a little bit and then I exercise. I have ADHD and if I don't get in some morning exercise, I can't settle down when I get to my desk. Um, then I get ready, you know, actual changing of clothes and, and preparing for my day. And then I have my business startup ritual, which involves how do I prep my work for doing the work, for getting the work done. Um, so there's calendar review. There is um, some tracking of my numbers, looking at some metrics every day. There is some connecting on social media and or um, via email. And then I do my deep work. And then I look at the new emails that are coming in um, because that first deep work session of the day is really about letting the creative juices flow. Um, also, because of the ADHD, I have a couple other little things that you may not think of that are in terms of setting yourself up for success during the day. I put on some background music that is at um, a certain tone and style that helps me focus. And I light um, an aromatherapy candle just to give enough aromatherapy that that also keeps me focused. Um, so know that you can stack these routines, these rituals, these habits so that you get a smoother start to your day. At the end of the day, you really know if you were productive or not. Um, and that's how I roll. <laughs> that's what I do all the time to help keep me um, productive and focused. Um, next week, we're going to talk a little bit about end-of-day rituals, which are just kind of the reverse. It's to get out of the flow of the work. So we'll talk about that next time. And it's a great time now to like, follow, share, um, turn on your notifications, comment, and ask your friends to join us here next Monday. I promise I'll be on time at 1 p.m. Mountain Time next week um, for another More Than Organized Monday. And in the meantime... Have a delightful day. Bye.